In the early hours of a seemingly ordinary Monday, the world awoke to the news that multiple Israeli cities had come under a series of precise, clandestine strikes. Speculations circled like vultures over an unseen carcass. Whispers of Iranian orchestration weaved through the corridors of power from Washington to Moscow, from Riyadh to Beijing. The year 2024 opened its geopolitical account not with treaties signed over polished mahogany, but with a shadow war that reverberated through the alleys of the Middle East. This clandestine conflict, dense with espionage, cyber warfare, and silent drones, offers a terrifying glimpse into the evolving nature of international politics and warfare. What follows is a detailed exploration of this covert war, an analysis of its impacts and implications, and a sobering look at what may lie ahead. The Middle East, a tapestry woven with the threads of ancient rivalries and recent grievances, presented a prelude to the 2024 covert strikes rooted deeply in a history of conflict and distrust. The Iranian-Israeli enmity is no modern affair. It is a convoluted saga of ideological confrontations and proxy wars stretching back decades. The recent culmination, however, has shifted from overt hostility to a more shadowy form of warfare, characterized by stealth and intrigue. The geographical and political landscapes of the Middle East are fraught with each area holding a story, each boundary a testimony to battles fought in the name of religion, ideology, and power. The specific focus on Israel and Iran's discrete battlefields marks a strategic evolution, underpinned by a mutual recognition of the potentially catastrophic consequences of an open war. The political posturing seen throughout 2023 indicated a region on the brink. Intelligence reports, defector testimonies, and intercepted communications painted a picture of two nations inching towards a precipice, all under the guise of defending sovereign interests. In the complex geostrategic game that is Middle Eastern politics, Iran and Israel are two grandmasters, each maneuvering with a keen eye on regional dominance. Yet their recent covert conflicts cannot be fully understood without considering the influence of other significant actors, the United States, Russia, China, and various European powers, along with regional entities like Saudi Arabia and Syria. This image of geopolitical chess is not merely metaphorical, but a stark representation of the calculated cautious moves that define the region's politics. Each strike and counterstrike has reverberations, influencing alignments and policies far beyond their immediate geographic confines. Motivations are a web of defensive posturing, offensive aspirations, and profound mutual distrust. Iran's pursuit of regional hegemony challenges not just Israel, but also Sunni Arab states, while Israel's existential concerns about Iranian nuclear capabilities and its regional influence drive its strategic imperatives. The silence of the international stage was shattered in December 2023 when an unclaimed cyber attack crippled Israel's power grid, leading to widespread chaos and a brief but intense period of national emergency. Though no group or nation officially took responsibility, intelligence circles pointed fingers towards Iranian-backed hackers, marking a significant escalation in the shadow conflict. The blackout was more than a mere disruption. It was a stark demonstration of how warfare in the 21st century extends beyond physical boundaries reaching into the very infrastructure that sustains modern life. The attack not only heightened tensions but also served as a catalyst for a series of retaliatory moves that would define the months to come. Following the cyber onslaught, both nations ramped up their covert operations, each trying to outmaneuver the other in a high-stakes game of geopolitical chess. The repercussions of these actions were not limited to the immediate battlefield but rippled across the globe, affecting international relations and global security postures. Covert operations by their very nature are designed to be hidden, yet their impact is undeniably profound. The Iran-Israel conflict of 2024 has underscored the strategic importance of such operations in modern warfare, where direct military engagement often gives way to more surreptitious forms of combat. Drones, cyber attacks, and espionage have replaced traditional battlegrounds. These tools of modern warfare allow for precision strikes, intelligence gathering, and disruption of enemy infrastructure without the immediate risk of open war. However, they also complicate international law and raise questions about sovereignty and the rules of engagement. 
The strategic implications are vast. For Iran and Israel, engaging in covert operations allows them to continue their struggle for regional dominance, while avoiding the international outcry and possible military escalation that might follow more overt actions. This shadow war also tests the limits of international patience and the efficacy of global governance in controlling such clandestine activities. Iran's approach to its conflict with Israel has evolved significantly over the years. Initially reliant on proxy warfare through groups like Hezbollah and Hamas, Iran has increasingly embraced cyber warfare and drone technology, reflecting broader trends in global military strategy. This shift is partly a response to Israel's robust anti-missile defenses such as the Iron Dome, which have proven effective against conventional rocket attacks. The evolution towards cyber and drone attacks represents a strategic pivot to exploit vulnerabilities that are harder to defend against using traditional means. Israel, in response, has not only bolstered its cyber defenses, but has also engaged in extensive counterintelligence operations. These efforts aim not just to thwart immediate threats, but also to gather enough intelligence to prevent future attacks and to identify key Iranian operatives and infrastructure that can be targeted to disrupt ongoing operations. The digital realm has become the new front line in the Iran-Israel conflict. Cyber attacks can cause significant economic disruption, sow confusion, and even have deadly outcomes if they target critical infrastructure like power grids or nuclear facilities. Israel's response to the growing cyber threat from Iran has been to launch its own series of cyber counterstrikes, aiming to deter further Iranian attacks by demonstrating its capability to retaliate. These cyber battles are often invisible to the public eye but are crucial in the strategic calculus of both nations. The implications of this digital warfare are profound, not only for the immediate safety of the nations involved, but also for international norms governing cyber conflicts. The ongoing digital war raises crucial questions about the future of international security and warfare, where battles are fought not only with drones and missiles, but with bits and bytes. The shadow war between Iran and Israel has not been a silent affair. Its echoes have resounded in the halls of power across the globe. The international community, already grappling with multiple crises, has been forced to weigh in, with responses ranging from stern condemnations to calls for restraint and diplomacy. In the United Nations, debates have flared about the implications of non-attributable attacks and the challenge they pose to international law. The US and European nations have largely supported Israel, emphasizing the right to defend itself while Russia and China have called for all parties to engage in dialogue, subtly pointing to the destabilizing effects of Western policies in the Middle East. This divergence in responses underscores the geopolitical fractures and the differing strategic interests at play. The situation has tested international alliances and has had ramifications for global security policies, reshaping diplomatic relationships and defense strategies. Behind the strategic maneuvers and covert operations lie the undeniable human costs of this shadow war. Civilians, often the unintended victims of such conflicts, bear the brunt of the chaos that ensues from strikes, cyber attacks, and the general climate of fear. Reports from both Iran and Israel paint a grim picture of the toll taken on everyday life. In Israel, the cyber attacks have not only caused blackouts, but have also led to casualties when essential services like hospitals were disrupted. In Iran, retaliatory strikes have damaged infrastructure and stirred anxiety among the populace. The human stories emerging from these incidents serve as a poignant reminder of the real stakes involved in such geopolitical games. They humanize the abstract discussions of strategy and power, bringing into focus the imperative of finding pathways toward peace. In the age of information, media outlets play a pivotal role in shaping public perception of conflicts. The Iran-Israel shadow war is no exception, with narratives being as much a battleground as the field operations themselves. Media coverage in different countries reflects and also shapes the diplomatic stances of those nations. Western media often highlights Iranian aggressions, while Iranian state media portrays Israel as the aggressor. This battle of narratives influences public opinion and can sway governmental policy, making media a powerful player in the strategic landscape. Understanding these mediated realities is crucial for anyone trying to grasp the full scope of the conflict. 
where truth is not just what happens, but also what people believe has happened. The evolution of surveillance technologies has turned nations into veritable fortresses with capabilities to monitor movements and communications not just of enemies, but also of their own citizens. In the context of the Iran-Israel conflict, surveillance is a double-edged sword. Both nations have ramped up their surveillance not only to track potential threats, but also to keep a close watch on domestic dissent and unrest, which can be exacerbated by external conflicts. The proliferation of surveillance technologies raises significant ethical and legal questions about privacy, freedom, and the extent of state power. As these technologies become more integrated into national security frameworks, the distinction between external and internal security blurs, creating complex scenarios for governance and civil liberties. Iran and Israel's conflict is often fought by proxy, with groups like Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza acting as extensions of Iranian influence or as focal points of Israeli defense strategy. These groups, funded and supported by Iran, carry out operations against Israeli targets, adding layers of complexity to the conflict. Israel, in turn, conducts operations to undermine these groups, aiming to weaken Iran's strategic reach. The involvement of these proxies complicates any potential resolutions to the conflict, embedding it deeper in the regional politics and making any peace process multifaceted and fraught with challenges. Economic warfare, in the form of sanctions and trade restrictions, has been another arena of the Iran-Israel conflict. The international sanctions on Iran, reinforced by the UN and primarily driven by the US, aim to curb Iran's military capabilities and influence. However, the sanctions have had a broad impact, affecting the Iranian economy and, by extension, the daily lives of its citizens. This economic strain has fueled nationalistic sentiments and has been used by the Iranian government to rally support against what it portrays as Western aggression. The economic dimension of this conflict reveals the interconnectedness of global markets and politics, where economic measures can have far-reaching effects beyond their immediate targets. In the wake of rising tensions in the escalating shadow war, diplomatic efforts have intensified. International mediators from Europe, along with representatives from the UN, have been actively involved in trying to de-escalate the situation. These diplomatic endeavors are delicate, with each side having deep-seated mistrust and grievances. The success of these efforts is crucial not just for regional stability, but also for setting a precedent on how international conflicts of this nature are handled in the future. The outcome of these diplomatic talks could pave the way for a new chapter in Middle Eastern politics or could plunge the region into deeper turmoil. The military strategies employed in the Iran-Israel conflict are indicative of a broader shift in global warfare tactics. The focus has moved from large-scale conventional military engagements to more precise, targeted operations that aim to achieve strategic objectives without widespread destruction. These strategies involve a mix of cyber warfare, drone strikes, and covert operations, each chosen for its ability to inflict maximum disruption with minimal risk. This shift reflects not only advancements in technology but also a changing international landscape where the consequences of traditional warfare are increasingly untenable. Psychological warfare has been a critical component of the Iran-Israel conflict, with both nations using propaganda, misinformation, and media manipulation to strengthen their positions and weaken their adversaries' resolve. This aspect of the conflict aims to influence public opinion and governmental policy, creating a climate of fear and uncertainty that can be as effective as physical strikes. The psychological operations extend beyond the immediate region, targeting global audiences and shaping international perspectives on the conflict. Understanding the psychological underpinnings of this war is essential for comprehending its depth and the pervasive impact it has on both societies involved. The ongoing conflict has led to significant regional realignments, with Saudi Arabia playing a pivotal role. As a major Sunni power, Saudi Arabia has its own contentious history with Iran, and its strategic decisions are closely watched by both Iran and Israel. 
Saudi Arabia's recent moves towards normalization with Israel, driven by mutual concerns over Iran's regional ambitions, signify a potential shift in Middle Eastern alliances. This realignment could either lead to a more united front against Iran or escalate tensions further, depending on how other regional players react. The role of Saudi Arabia, therefore, is not just regional, but has significant implications for the broader balance of power in the Middle East. The European Union has found itself in a complex position regarding the Iran-Israel conflict, striving to maintain a balance between showing solidarity with Israel and remaining neutral in order to keep diplomatic channels with Iran open, the EU's stance is indicative of the broader challenges facing global diplomacy today. The EU's approach is largely characterized by calls for restraint and the pursuit of diplomatic solutions, reflecting its broader strategic preference for stability and dialogue over conflict. However, this stance is often tested by the actions of its member states and the pressures from other global powers like the US and Russia. Navigating this diplomatic tightrope is crucial for the EU, not only in terms of its foreign policy credibility, but also for its internal coherence in handling international crises. Russia and China have played nuanced roles in the Iran-Israel conflict. Both countries have strategic interests in the region and have often positioned themselves as counterweights to Western influence. Russia, with its military presence in Syria and alliances with Iran, and China, through its Belt and Road Initiative, have significant stakes in the stability of the Middle East. Their actions and statements often reflect a broader strategic game, balancing their regional interests with their global rivalry with the US. Whether these nations can be peacemakers or whether they will exploit the conflict for their own gains remains a critical question for the future stability of the region. The U.S. response to the Shadow War has been indicative of a broader pivot in its Middle East policy. Initially, the U.S. support for Israel was unequivocal, but the complexity of the conflict and the broader U.S. strategic interests have led to a more nuanced approach. This pivot includes increased diplomatic efforts to mediate the conflict and a re-evaluation of military support policies, reflecting a growing recognition of the limits of unilateral action and the need for multilateral solutions in such complex regional conflicts. The U.S. policy shifts are significant not just for the Iran-Israel conflict but for the global geopolitical landscape, signaling potential changes in how international conflicts are managed. Humanitarian issues have become a pivotal aspect of the Iran-Israel conflict, with international organizations and NGOs actively involved in addressing the human costs of the conflict. The question of humanitarian intervention, however, is fraught with political implications. What is often intended as neutral aid can be perceived as interference, particularly by those who view the aid as aligning with their adversaries. The balance between providing necessary humanitarian assistance and avoiding the politicization of such aid is delicate and critical, highlighting the complex interplay between ethical obligations and political realities. The Iran-Israel conflict of 2024 has provided a stark lesson in the future of warfare. It has highlighted how technological advances and strategic innovations are reshaping the nature of conflict, making it more about controlling information and less about controlling territory. The lessons from this conflict are crucial for military strategists and policymakers worldwide as they adapt to a landscape where cyber capabilities, artificial intelligence, and unmanned systems become central to national defense strategies. These developments have implications not just for future conflicts, but also for international law and the global security architecture, challenging traditional notions of warfare and sovereignty. With the evolving nature of global conflicts, the role of international peacekeeping has never been more critical or more challenged. The shadow war between Iran and Israel tests the effectiveness of current peacekeeping methodologies and the international community's ability to respond to new forms of conflict. The need for a re-evaluation of peacekeeping strategies is evident, with a greater emphasis on preventing cyber warfare and supporting diplomatic resolutions before conflicts escalate. The success of such efforts is vital for maintaining international peace and security in a rapidly changing world.
The potential for modern peacekeeping to adapt and address these new challenges will significantly impact global stability and the future direction of international relations. The Middle East stands at a crossroads with the outcomes of the Iran-Israel conflict likely to influence the region's future trajectory. The interplay of local dynamics and global influences creates a complex puzzle that is difficult to decipher but crucial to understand. Forecasting what might come next involves considering multiple scenarios, each contingent on a range of variables from internal political stability to international diplomatic engagements. Understanding these dynamics is essential for anyone looking to grasp the future political landscape of the Middle East. The region's stability hinges on the ability of its leaders and the international community to navigate these turbulent waters with foresight and prudence. The shadow war between Iran and Israel in 2024 has not only redefined the contours of Middle Eastern politics, but has also offered a glimpse into the future of international relations. It has underscored the significance of covert operations and the increasing role of non-traditional warfare in global conflicts. The conflict's resolution, whether through escalation or diplomacy, will have lasting impacts on regional and global stability. The lessons learned here about the interplay of technology, strategy, and human factors are invaluable for understanding and managing future conflicts. As the world watches and waits, the hope remains that wisdom, dialogue, and a commitment to peace will prevail over the shadows of war. The path chosen will not only determine the fate of the region, but also set precedents for how emerging global challenges are addressed in the 21st century.